I'd like to introduce you to sun ovens. Sun ovens are a magnificent way of cooking. You can bake, you can boil, and you can steam foods all powered by the sun. The sun ovens are basically a well-insulated box that trap heat inside of it and allows you to cook food and it's an amazing way to cook. The sun ovens are designed so that they fold up and they carry like a suitcase and they're very compact box and to set up a sun oven just takes a matter of seconds. You just open this snap, take the reflectors, put them in place. There's a little knob here that keeps the sun oven from moving in the wind and then you would open this up and you'd put your food inside this chamber in order to cook. This food is a leveling tray, so if you have liquid on in, in a pot, the food isn't going to spill. You'd put your food inside a pot, inside the oven. You close this, you set it in the sun, and this will heat up the temperatures of between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's able to bake and boil and steam foods. The oven is designed so that wherever the sun is in the horizon, it can be focused to meet it. So in the early morning or in the winter when the sun's further up, we're able to raise the oven way up. We're cooking right now in the midday, so the sun ovens would be pretty much flat on the ground. And it's able to cook year-round. Sun ovens are exceptionally well insulated, so the outside temperature doesn't make any difference. The main thing is the amount of direct sunlight that you have. The sun oven is constructed of materials. The reflectors are made of an anodized aluminum. They're 86 percent reflective, but they'll never oxidize, rust, or corrode. The interior of the oven is made of an aluminum that's coated with a powder coating. It's a non-toxic food-grade powder coating that if food spills, you're able to clean it. This, this leveling tray is able to remove, and the coating on the leveling tray and in the inner box is the same kind of coating that you would have on your stove burners. So it's very, very easy to clean. The oven, the inner box is made of the aluminum that's coated with the powder coating. The outer box of the oven is just made of ABS plastic. But between the inner box and the outer box, there's a very thick pad of a non-toxic food grade fiberglass insulation. The same kind of insulation that's used in pizza ovens. The sun oven is very safe in that nothing on the exterior of it ever gets hot. No matter what the temperature is, the reflectors never get warm or hot. The outer box never gets warm or hot. The surface of the glass gets hot enough so that if an animal comes up, it would be repelled from it, but it's not going to be hot enough to really burn you, and nothing on the exterior of the oven gets hot. Of course, when you go inside the oven, you do need to wear oven mitts or have oven gloves in order to be able to protect your hands when you stick your hand inside the hot oven. To fold the oven back up it takes just a matter of seconds. It folds up for compact storage, and it carries like a suitcase, and it only weighs 21 pounds. When you cook in the sun oven, anything that you cook in the oven should be cooked in a dark pot with a lid on it. The most ideal type of cookware is this enamelware. It's a very thin type of uh, thin material. This is a steel that's coated with enamel. And because it's thin, it winds up cooking relatively quickly. There's two ways to cook in a sun oven. One is that if you refocus the oven, to follow the sun every 30 minutes, you're able to cook in comparable times to your regular oven. You'll be able to maintain temperatures generally above 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so your cooking times are pretty comparable to your regular oven. Or you can slow cook in a sun oven. When you slow cook, you can just put a, for example, many people will take on a hot day, take a, a frozen chicken, put it in the sun oven in the morning, set the oven in the North American hemisphere facing south, leave for the day, come back at dinner time, and have a perfectly cooked meal. The other alternative would be to put food in the oven and refocus it every 30 minutes. When you do refocus it, then you'll keep the temperatures up at a much higher temperature, and your cooking times will be faster. The amazing thing about cooking in a sun oven is that food doesn't dry out and food doesn't burn. When you cook in the sun oven, there's no movement of air, and it's a completely even heat. So the, the pot, the food inside the pot, and the air around the pot are all the same temperature. So food doesn't, um, doesn't burn because when it hits the side of the pot, it's the same temperature as the food. And it doesn't dry out because you're cooking and you're heating air around the food. Oftentimes, one of the first things we do when people learn to cook in a sun oven is we suggest they take an egg. And if you just take an egg and you set it on the shelf of the oven, you'll find you can make a hard-boiled egg without water. And the same principle 
of putting an egg normally in a pot of boiling water in the even heat of the boiling water around the shell and the even heat of the air going all the way around your pot and your food applies and it's a real good way to get an understanding of how to cook in a sun oven. With the cookware that's used, the enamelware is ideal for cooking when you want to cook quickly. If you're going to cook something on a slow basis, you can, get a, you can use cast iron. You can use almost any kind of a pot or pan except something that's stainless steel and shiny. Many people who cook, for example, meats in sun ovens like to use corningware or Pyrex, something with a glass lid. If you're going to cook meats, you can put a meat thermometer in it and you can tell at a glance just by looking through the, into the oven that uh, what the temperature of the meat is. It will take about 10% longer to cook in corningware than it would, or in a glassware, than it would in an enamelware pot, but you don't have to, if you want to see what's happening to your food without opening it, you can do that by using the glassware. When you cook in a sun oven, anything that you cook inside the oven, you want to cook in a pot with a lid on it, except for bakery goods. If you're making soups, if you're making stew, if you're making pasta, you can cook that in a pot with a lid on it. The only difference is that things like rice or pasta or sauces require about a third less water than when you're cooking a conventional method. That's much healthier with many vegetables and things that are cooked in the sun oven because when you use less water, more of the water gets absorbed into the vegetable and you don't pour a lot of the nutritional value down the drain. When you cook bakery goods in a sun oven, you're able to cook it in your standard cookware, whether it be bread pans or cookie sheets, you can put, a, and you don't need to put a lid on it, and you'll find that they'll cook just fine. When you cook bread in a sun oven, you can cook it in your regular bread pan, and it's just amazing how much more moist bread comes out and how much more light and fluffy it is. The amazing thing about cooking breads in, in a sun oven is on a day when it's overcast, you can cook it at a lower temperature for a longer time. I bake breads that normally would bake in 45 minutes to an hour, and, and sometimes on a cloudy day, it's taken as much as two, two and a half hours to bake it. It's a function of time, but it doesn't affect the quality of what's being cooked. Because of the slow, even heat of a sun oven, food doesn't dry out and burn, so you're able to do things even with the most exacting breads at lower temperatures than what the recipe calls for.